The sweet sounds of piano strings fill the Bliss Center this morning as the talented hands and fingers of a piano duo performed for 350 kids from 10 Belize City schools. George Lopez and Gulimina Mahamuti have been playing together since 2018, and the duo decided to make a quick trip to Belize to revisit where George grew up in Dangriga and teach a few kids about the art of playing piano. What does an experience like this do for these kids? Well, what it does for any human, right? Um, to experience live music, to feel the vibrations, to feel the energy, um, and to see them. They've been described as a duo breathing the same musical air. And so when you see them perform, it's so electrifying. But not only that, um, the range of songs, you know, you ask, Anyone, what, what do you think of when you think about piano music? And there might be some very consistent answers, um, but they have pushed those boundaries. And so um, it's an electrifying experience. It's been a week of music education, um, sharing with the children in Dangriga at his old school, um, the School of Sacred Heart Primary School. And then today at the Bliss here for the school children, and tomorrow morning for music students, um, where there'll be a reverse engineering experience of taking down a piano and seeing how that works from the inside and why we need to use certain techniques to get certain songs out of it. Accompanying them is their piano tuner, who possesses an extensive knowledge of the instrument. Each performance relies heavily on his ability to tune and perfect the strings of the piano. I went to a trade school in the United States that teaches piano tuning and adjusting the mechanism and working on pianos. But I really learned to tune pianos in the small Central European country of Austria. Uh, I went to work for a very old-fashioned company where there were older workmen who had done this work for 40 or 50 years. And they were extremely kind to me and extremely patient. And they also made me work hard. Uh, the first six months I was there, all I did was tune pianos, and not good ones. I tuned the worst pianos they had, over and over and over again. And they would come and play, and they would critique. This is good, this is not so good, listen, listen, listen to this. So for two years, I worked in Austria um, and was taught um, about these instruments. And during that time, I also read a lot. Um, I got to see many different instruments, but it's my great privilege often, occasionally, to go with a concert artist uh, to set up a piano for them to play. And they are extremely sensitive to the way the piano mechanism works and to the way it sounds. And because of the training I re was received, I am capable of doing that most of the time. Their trip to Belize is part of a cultural exchange through music for the couple, where both musicians will get a chance to learn more about each other's personal history through music. So George, George's music always touched me because when I moved to Maine, there was nobody, I, I don't know a lot of musicians. So it was George who, just have this personality, very open and very welcoming and friendly. He's, he's like a proper Belizean, no? <laughs> so we, once we became a couple, we decided to do duo more because our audiences like the energy we created on stage as a couple and as a musician. And we have projects involved with music from the world and from where we came from, dig in the roots where we really come from, music that represents who we are as a musician and as a human being. So that is why coming to Belize after almost half a century for George is to dig in the roots where he came and he belonged to. And what's very exciting for us, two things. One, we commission new works by composers from around the world to write specifically for us in this idea of global outreach. And also, we're going to f go back to Gulimina's route in China this coming summer. So we're very excited to sort of tie that 
uh, those knots and complete that circle for our own uh, sort of personal journeys. They will perform tomorrow night at The Bliss, where they will showcase a piece written by a Belizean composer. Joe Marilanza, 7 News.